Hello and, hello and welcome to the new lecture on wireless and mobile communication. I am Professor Budhaditya Bharacharya of the AT University. And last this lecture we had discussed on uh, a very important topic on wireless communication which is called as the handoff. And in handoff we had discussed the uh, process of improper and proper handoff that takes place uh, in a mobile communication. And in that, uh, what are the criteria for having having an improper handoff? Why do we have usually an improper handoff? Is this is discussed in the, the video? And also, we discuss something on a proper handoff. That what do we mean by a proper margin, and how we can have a proper handoff? And in that aspect, we had come to a point that we can discuss on the nature or the way the handoff is taking place. And in that way, we had introduced the terms called as hard and soft handoff. So let us discuss on. Uh, what do you mean by this hard and soft handoff? So in this case, what is happening over here is that based on uh, based on the uh, nature of occurrence of the handoff, we usually can divide it into uh, two four, four basic part. Uh, and where it is happening, we can uh, like we get divided into uh, two specific halves. That is the nature of handoff, and that is hard and the soft handoff, and where the handoff is taking place based on that we can actually divide it into two which is inter cell handoff and intra cell handoff so basically this is what the main idea is and in this case uh, when we are discussing about the uh, uh, hard handoff we usually uh, refer to the diagram as given in the second one which is this one so let us uh, let us first define uh, what do we mean by a, a hard handoff so let us have it so basically if you consider that uh, if you consider that what, what exactly is hard handoff so hard handoff is what we are discussing okay so in this case the old connection the old connection is terminated before making a new connection so this is what the main idea is that the old connection is terminated so basically we by old connection is terminated this term indicates that we are actually looking at something where there is a break that is happening of the connection before making it okay so making it so these are the two factors so hard handoff is a scenario where actually we are we are dis disturbing the connection or the connection that is being that was there for a particular device or particular mobile station and then we are searching for a new connection that might happen now it seems like it will like it will be a very long duration of time that will that it will take to switch over. But ideally, the switch over doesn't have that much of it doesn't take that much of time. So what will happen? It will not be too much of a um, it will not create um, that much of a problem to the end user, and it's not be perceivable uh, perceptible to the uh, subscriber. So that is one uh, very interesting and important aspect that we have to consider. But the major problem with this handoff is that whenever we are having this uh, break before make, uh, we are in a position, if we, if we write it here, if we just write it here, so the disadvantage of this is that uh, if a handoff, handoff, fails to make fails the call may be may be temporarily interrupted or even 
them. So that is the biggest disadvantage or drawbacks of a hard handoff. So whenever we are making sure that there is a connection that was already there and we are disturbing that connection and we are going for a new connection. So we have to make sure that there is a possibility of a handoff. We are supposed to connect to a new base station and suddenly we see that that particular base station doesn't have the requisite amount of channel or the band is not allotted. Hence, there is no free uh, channel available for the handoff requested user. So, what will happen? The call will get terminated. So, that is the biggest problem of a hard handoff. But if you consider this scenario, you can see the diagram. Let us go back to the diagram once again. Now, as you can see in the second diagram, we are actually having a scenario where we are making an effort to in this particular diagram you can see that when it is coming from A to B okay this is the old connection so this is this is where the old connection is existing so old connection and whereas this one is the new connection that is supposed to be made so we are having having a scenario that whenever the user is moving from one cell to another there is a chance or there is a process of keeping the connection intact with the old one, whereas finding a new connection with the new con new base station. So in this case, what is happening is what we call as make before break. So we have to give our So, make before break is what we are talking about. So, make before break. So, this is a very common uh, question that is usually asked in uh, our examiner you know, that what why, why we call it a hard handoff or soft handoff as a break before make and a make before break connection. So, in soft handoff, so what is the basic advantage from the from the diagram itself is clear that if this happens, if the soft handoff is happening, then basically we are making sure that there is a chance that the connection, the old connection, might still be existing until and unless you are getting a new connection. But again, that will be a specific time which we call as a dwell time. So till that point it will stay and after that it will go on searching for a new or the best possible signal strength and it will be switching over for a handle. So this is the basic of the hard and the soft handle. And alternatively, we, we can, um, if we just write it, uh, instead of here, I will just let us write it over here. Uh, when we are looking at um, the other definition, which is the softer handoff, so if we write softer, okay, so softer handoff is another one which is uh, usually referred to when we are considering for sectored um, cell sites. So it is usually used for sectored. Cell site. What is cell sectoring? We will come to a little later. Okay. So this is when what is why it is called as a sector um, softer handoff. All the signals, all the signals can be combined to produce a. clearer copy of the signal okay so it means that we are actually combining all the possibilities all the possible ways it can communicate and all that signal strength will be and kind of an average we are making and we are making the best effort to that the connection is which are which the user is going to get established with is the best suitable suited one. So this is what we call as a softer handoff and as I mentioned that this is softer handoffs are possible when cells involved in handoff have a single cell site but there are different sectors. Okay. So that is what the main idea is when the types of handoff when we discuss. So these are the different types. Now even you can see where it is happening, okay, where this um, uh, handoff takes place. Usually, it might be that there is an intercell handoff that is happening. Intercell, as I, as in the diagram, quite quite easily been mentioned over here. That it is within 
from one cell to another okay. so from one cell to another it is being uh, shifting and naturally that is what we are calling as inter cell handoff and what do you mean by intra cell handoff intra cell handoff is like when we have a special case okay possible in which the present serving cell and the new target cell are one okay and the same channel can only be used and and like and the same uh, cell is being uh, is, is our reference and um, in 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 a case where the part the part the purpose if you if you consider the purpose of intra cell is that that um, maybe that in interference okay interference interfered or uh, affected by fading maybe so affected by fading so maybe affected by fading so maybe within the cellular same cell when the user is at position A and it is moving towards position B, within this there might be a hill, maybe, okay, or some high-rise building, maybe, okay, so maybe some high-rise building is over here. So these are the obstacles, obstructions which are happening, okay. So which might necessitate and and a change of handoff, okay, from one channel to another. So it is within the same target cell, same cell it is happening, but it is still undergoing an handoff. So this is what the Intracell handoff is all about. Now, if we go by the next one, which is known as the handoff control algorithm, how we can control it? Usually, there are three types which are present, which are known as mobile control handoff, network control handoff, and mobile assisted handoff. Now, each one of its kind, like they were advantage, they had have their advantage as well as disadvantage. For case of mobile control handoff, we usually consider that when the mobile unit controls and makes a complete decision on handoff mobile decision now the mobile keeps on measuring the signal strength from all the neighboring cell sites and if the mobile station finds that there is a new cell with a stronger strength than the other old day or old serving station so it may consider the handoff to take place so that is the best point the major disadvantage of the scheme which might observe if you just think of it the major problem is the mobile is taking care of the handoff so the base station won't even have a clue that the handoff is taking place so naturally, the, the base station will not recognize a proper handoff, it will not try to authenticate it properly. So naturally, there will be a chance of a call getting disturbed. So that is what the mobile controlled handoff is. And even in that case, what happens that the mobile is also very much utilizing its own power. So the battery power also has an issue in this case. The next part is a network controlled handoff, which was there in 1G and all. It's a long time back that is network decides that when and who should be undergoing a handoff. So in that case, the base station actually detects the user who are actually who needs an handoff, but that will make the net network itself be busy in making this unnecessary handoff request make because it is already making sure that there are so many standing instructions that it has to process. So along with that, if it also requires to find the particular user who under who should be undergoing a handoff, it's an overburden that is happening. So the overall system will be very much busy. Okay, we are making the base station too busy. So that's why there is a compromise in net for both these two and we are coming up with MAHO or mobile assisted handoff where the mobile, the network provides the mobile with a list of frequencies where it can get connect. The network asks the mobile to measure the signal strength and signal quality from the surrounding base station. So mobile also assisting with checking on the nearby base station which one is the best. It gives an information to the base station that it, it the, the mobile station will report to the serving base station that okay the network and decide so this is the signal sense this is the best one i want to get connected to this so the base station will again connect to the main targeted base station and the connection will be established so this is what we are calling a mobile assisted handoff so this is the best one most complicated or sophisticated but it is the best one so this in this lecture we have discussed on the handoff algorithms and in the next lecture when we come we will discuss on some of the other parameters of handoff and we will finish off with the handoff in the next lecture. Thank you very much.